Hey JJ members, it's Sean Foley here at Foley Performance Academy uh, in continuing our series of, of ideas I think can help you guys. Uh, what I have here in quotations is practice slash play as you intend to perform. And then you can see in darker here, it says simulate. So what I see often with kids at where I live, I live on a golf course, obviously up here at Foley Performance. We have many kids from around the world who practice and play every day. The tendency is we're going to go into basically human selection. So what's going to happen is there's four kids who play together every single day. They go out in a golf cart and as soon as they run into a group of people, they just go by to the next hole. The, the problem is, I don't have any problem with that in the sense that if I want to go play 60 holes in one day, then I can go on a cart and I can keep going. And playing all those holes gives me an opportunity to obviously get a lot of different lies around the green, on the green. Gives me the opportunity to play, you know, almost holes downwind in the morning and into wind in the afternoon. So I have no problem with you playing 60 holes a day in a golf cart, okay? But I think it has to be also treated as far as when I get into that tournament, PJ Tour, we have threesomes averaging five hours, all right? Now, often, not everyone in the group actually like each other. That's pretty much often, right? So ideally, you play with your three best friends in a golf cart with music on, on a course you play every single day. I think that that creates a false sense of skill, which always when you go to a tournament where you've never played that course before, we're breaking down the course, managing it, understanding what you can and can't do. So people all say to me, man, I can't play at tournaments like I play at my home course. Well, at my home course, I'm almost automated in the sense that I don't even need yardages. So that's not really real life. Once again, there's nothing wrong with playing your home course a thousand times a year to give you more and more reps at playing the game. But when it comes now to this series is more about how do I go from here to here? How do I become two strokes better each year and that's really what we're after a lot of that can be done by being more thoughtful than just sitting on the range and hitting a thousand balls so when i say simulate i think what i'd like to see is you know it's a weekend you're you've got the weekend off you're going to play 18 holes join a group at noon when it's going to take you five hours to play pick up your bag or use your pull cart and walk the golf course or pull the cart because I think what you'll realize, the guy gets in a cart, hits a ball, he's at the next ball in 10 seconds, hits a ball, hits a ball. He can get going on a pretty good stretch. Well, that stretch isn't gonna be realistic to win. I hit a driver on number one. Now I don't hit another driver until number two is an iron off the tee, number three is a bar three. I'm 45 minutes to an hour in between hitting drivers, but I was hitting them good on the range because I was hitting one every eight seconds. So if you actually measured all the shots you hit on the range, you make a lot of bogeys on the range when you think you're not. So understanding, simulating what you're gonna deal with. So if there's some guys at your golf club who are slow players and you struggle with slow playing, go and play with them. You will soon understand that it's not their slow play, it's just more your representation at that moment that it seems so really slow, but that's gonna be changing with your awareness. Like I said, go out and play in the middle of the rain. Go out and play when it's cold. But you have to be carrying or pulling because if you are playing for two weeks in a row in a golf cart and then you get back out on that golf course, I mean, a golf course is typically about seven miles of walking. So whether you're pulling an object or carrying it, even though it's not as extreme as like a full workout in the gym, from that standpoint, it's overtime wearing you down, wearing you down, wearing you down. And what's amazing is watch how many people collapse in the last three or four holes. And unfortunately, the world says it's mental, but I don't think it has to do with uh, mentality at all. I think a lot of it has to do with me being tired and fatigued and running out of energy as much as anything else. So remember, going forward, guys, when you're in a practice and play, you should do it as you intend to perform. So. If you're gonna play carry or pull, if you're gonna play, find some players who are better than you, find some players who are worse than you. Go out in the middle of the day when it's super busy. Go out in the middle of the day when it's super hot. You have no excuse for showing up to a tournament 
and saying, well, I couldn't really handle how slow it was for these two guys I played with I didn't like. Champions are champions and champions have the ability to not necessarily block all that out. We all hear everything, but they're just more focused on what it is they need to do. They've trained in a way that's helpful for them and that's why they stay at the top of what they do.